Niha YouTube, what's going on? Salam to China. Back again today with Lucky Luke. Check out his channel, Lucky Luke Harbin. Check this out on YouTube. And today we will do a funny experiment. I will ask him a question and the answer is completely spontaneous. We didn't talk about anything in advance. And uh, my first question to you today is, do you know what is a VPN and do you know what you need that for? <laughs> Yeah, the, the, if you live in China for a while, this is a pretty easy question. So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, basically, in Germany, I just used it for like access my university library, so I can go to a certain mm -hmm. server. Really, but, you use that in Germany? Yeah, like like to access my uh, the university library website, so wow. I can like. Uh, uh, get some books or stuff like this uh, but when I c came to China like VPN became like more and more important so um, because you're in China and you can't use like all like nearly all the most important international social media mm -hmm. stuff like Facebook Instagram Twitter WhatsApp YouTube Google Mail Google, yeah, Google, like, mm -hmm. uh, search and Google Mail. Like, apparently you can use Google Translator, but you can't use Google. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Yeah. So, uh, but, like, in order to communicate with my friends, because basically I think China is maybe the only country where they use WeChat, you know? Like, in, in other Asian countries, they use Line. Yeah. Or Kakao Talk in Korea. WhatsApp. Or WhatsApp. Yeah. Or uh, yes, like there are many different options. But WeChat is basically like limited to China. Of course, people from other countries have it. But yeah. So in order to talk to my friends in Germany, uh, I had to use VPN to uh, use my WhatsApp so, and anything. Uh, so basically, a VPN is a tool you can download on your computer or on your mobile phone in order to make programs or internet websites work that you cannot use in China but you can use in your home country, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. As you said, like Facebook, all that stuff, uh, WhatsApp and... Um, yeah, China has like alternative for all those different like applications mm -hmm. and uh, how do you say, like websites but it's not as good as the original ones you know like mm -hmm. you have Baidu and it's mostly in Chinese that's for foreigner that's a little bit difficult and I think like my Chinese friends they have a lot of problems finding something yeah. like text or something but I just put it in Google and find it right away so um, which means yeah, for, yeah for foreigners it is almost essential to use a VPN in China in order to get along in the everyday life yeah, definitely, right? yeah. And um, so there is uh, such a thing in China called the uh, Great Firewall, which is um, kind of a synonym to the Great Wall, but it's <laughs> not the Great Wall, but it's the Great China <laughs> Wall, the Great Firewall, right? Which you cannot uh, overcome without a VPN because many websites and things are being blocked uh, in China. Um, so. The first thing you want to make sure before you arrive in China is that you have something like a VPN. Yeah, uh, definitely. Because the first thing you want to do when you arrive in China is maybe contact your parents <laughs> by WhatsApp, by Facebook, or by writing a mail, right? Yeah, so and um, there's a big market in China for VPNs, so mm -hmm. sometimes they get like... Uh, I don't know, turned off or something like this. Mm -hmm. But I think you can get VPN pretty cheap around here. And I know many Chinese people who also use it because they also want to use like applications like Instagram yeah. or many something, Chinese Facebook. Use it. Yeah. Because it's uh, really interesting. Because it's really international and you get like a lot of information about what's going on in the world. And maybe this information is a little bit limited if you use like just the Chinese mm. The thing is, there, yeah, as you said, there is lots of VPNs, lots of different VPNs offered on the market. Um, some are for free, some cost money, 
um, around like 20 to 50 euros or US dollars a year. And there is one um, VPN I would like to recommend you, which is called Estrill. You could find the link in the description below. <laughs> and um, this is an affiliate link, by the way. And what I like about this VPN, I used this for almost five years. I never had problems with it. You can choose different servers all around the world. If, if you think one server is slow, you can use another one, a different one, uh, which is faster. Uh, you have different options. Um, you can use it with a stealth VPN. You can use it with, uh, in the stealth mode. You can use it uh, in the open mode, um, which I can explain to you in the comments if you would like to know something about this. But the good thing is that it is very, very easy to handle. So what you have to do if you are going to China or um, what I recommend to you is that you click on that link, click on download or register. Uh, first you register, you pay I think 50 euros a year, maybe it's even less. And um, for three or four different devices like mobile phone, laptop, computer, depending on uh, with how many uh, devices you want to go online. Then you click on download, you download the software, you type in your email address and your password, and you can access, uh, you, 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 you click on switch on, switch VPN on, you switch it on, and then you can access all the different um, websites without any problems. So what happens if you don't have the VPN and you want to access, for example, Google or Facebook, what happens then? Yeah, they won't find a website. All the applications don't work. It's just nothing. So nothing happens. I once met a, a friend of mine um, in Fuzhou, and he had like a VPN server, mm -hmm. so like a VPN router. So uh -huh. uh, you didn't have to like get uh, get into your private network because it, it, you just have to log okay. in his Wi-Fi. That was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But by the way, you you don't need the router. You yeah, don't need no. it. You, you can get it, for example, even with Astral, you can get a separate router, but you don't need it. No, not at all. Uh, you don't need it. I, I wouldn't buy that. Uh, buy the cheapest option. You can buy the cheapest option. One year is basically the, the most common option. I'm using that for many, many years. I never had problems with that. I'm living in Harbin. I can recommend that. I know there are foreigners living in other places who say there is better options than Astral, to be honest with you. Um, but this is the one I can recommend and I'm using it every day. Very good upload speed, very good download speed. And I can watch uh, movie uh, videos on YouTube in HD quality. So it is loading very fast. And I know other people that tell me their VPN isn't working. It is too slow whatsoever. <laughs> okay, anything to add for the VPN? Oh no, that's, that's basically it, yeah. Uh, it's something you should really get. Uh, something you should really get before... Uh, um, going to yeah, China I think it's because essential, yeah. in Definitely. China, once you arrive in China, it's more difficult to get because, for example, the download pages of VPNs probably won't be accessible yeah, maybe. In, in, inside of China anymore. So, what I recommend is that you download that and that you buy that maybe one week or two weeks before you actually go to China. And another big advantage of a VPN is that you are usually, if you use it in stealth mode, that you are completely anonymous. So for example, if you go online in a public space, um, your IP address is more or less anonymous because you go online on a foreign server with a foreign server and no hackers can access your computer content. This is what I <laughs> wanted to add. Okay. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I hope that was a helpful video for you. If you have any more questions about VPNs, how to use them, why they are so important in China, let me know in the comments. We are happy to uh, answer all of your questions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. There will be a new video every day. Every day. And um, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sajian. -bye.